Hey everybody, welcome back to Music with Todd Ledbetter. So glad you're here. We're going to introduce a new band to the channel today, right now. Uh, it's Echolin, and we're going to play a song from their 2015 release, I Heard You Listening. This song is called War Jazz. This was a uh, recommended band by a subscriber, so I'm super, super happy to get to it. Um, Let's get right into it. This is Echolin with War Jazz. Back to the opening theme. Everyone 
Wow, that was cool. Um, I felt like that was really original. You know, I liked the uh, predominant piano. Uh, yet when the guitar came in, it was very distinct and very clear, you know, and rocking. Uh, um, I, the bass and the drums were great. The bass player was great. He was all over the place. And the drummer was super solid and had a real up-tempo fun, you know, beat, you know, kept the song moving. Um, some nice chord changes, uh, I thought. Uh, really, some really nice chord changes and some in and a couple of interesting chords there, too. Um, early on in the song, I was like, oh, that's, that's wild. Some nice harmonies. It was kind of a unique harmony, I thought, to them to themselves. Felt really like a real tight harmony. Um, but uh, some cool riffs in there, and they kept the song moving. I really started getting into it, you know, for a first listen. Uh, you know, it was, it was kind of different to my ear. It's like, oh. Um, but once, you know, we kind of got got going and I started to, you know, get familiar with the song when they started to repeat sections, it's like, OK, now this is sounding familiar and I'm understanding it. Um, but I really like the predominant kind of piano in there and then the guitar kicking in, uh, you know, and taking its place uh, of prominence every once in a while in the song. It's pretty cool. Uh, Echo Lynn, um, the first time I've listened to anything from them. Um, and I liked it. I really liked the singer's voice, especially when he started getting into the higher ranges, too. He kind of, you know, had some gravel to it somewhat. You know, it's like it wasn't, you know, he wasn't wasn't faking and he wasn't like pushing too hard. Didn't seem like he was trying to stretch to hit the notes. It just sounded like he had some control over his voice in order to give it that sort of distortion, uh, you know, a little bit, which I really liked. I thought that was cool. It gave it some more dimension and some dynamics in his vocals. Um, it it kind of, his vocal stylings reminded me a little bit of Neil Morris, but not, I'm not super familiar with Neil Morris either. Um, just a few songs that I've heard over, short amount of time you know five or six or seven or something but uh first experience with uh echolin i liked it it's pretty good um let me know what you guys think uh, meet me down in the comments there and we can discuss it um maybe you can let me know where we might go from here if you want to hear more from them or what your experience is with echolin and if you've had their albums and you like you, you like their music and you know about the members and things like that i'd love to hear more about it so uh sounds good i liked it i really started getting into it all right so uh we'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much i wish you guys would have a wonderful wonderful day and i'll see you down in the comments take care now